What happened? We just heard a scream. Don't worry. I know these caves. <gasps> Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Help! Help! Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down. Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. Oh. Oh. oh, what's that noise? What's going on down there? I can hear Fire Captain Steel working on the handcart. Hmm. Ah! She'll be growing body wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way, and the old mines go into the mountain this way and they get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. Huh. All ready to go, thanks to two experts. <laughs> it needs two drivers as well. Who's coming with me? You're the one who knows about emergency rescues, Norris. Floating out to sea with Hannah and James on a giant birthday cake. Ah, Penny, you come with me to the Ocean Rescue Center. Elvis, you help Fire Captain Steel. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam! Sam. Pick up James and Hannah. Roger that, Sam. Oh, my cake's got a soggy bottom. Leave the cake, Dillis, and grab hold of this. Get James first, Sam. I'm a much stronger swimmer. If you're sure, Hannah. I am. Where's Hannah? Hannah!
I'm fine. Oh, flying down the street I was, headed straight for the harbor. Mm -hmm. We're really sorry we messed around with your present, Uncle Sam. And caused such a big accident. Well, as long as you always remember that racing around can be dangerous, especially when you're near the water. On behalf of everyone in Ponty Pandy, I would like to present my brother, Sam, with a very special present. Not just to say, happy birthday, but also to say, thank you for being our own very special hero. It's uh, supposed to be Jupiter. Sorry, it uh, got a bit uh, broken. It couldn't be more perfect. Thank you all. To Sam. To, to Sam. Sam. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to get rid of all this old ash from the last drill before we light the fires. Okay, Sam. Don't worry, Jupiter. I've got a plan to get you clean in record time. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, sorry, Sam. Don't worry about me, Elvis. I can just wash my face. But I think Jupiter might need another clean. Oh, no! There you are, Bessie. You'll be clean, pristine, and gleaming in no time. Hello, Fire huh? Captain Steel. Norman Price! What are you doing in Bessie's shed? It's all right, Norris. I'm here. Oh, uh, Gareth, I, I didn't see you there. Well, as long as he's properly supervised. <laughs> Have you got anything like a plane engine? Or a high-powered rocket, so the dragon can fly. Well, I've got this old luggage trolley. If it's on wheels, then it might look like it's flying. Hmm. What's all that stuff? That's all the fire lighting equipment we use to light a fire in the steam engine. Wouldn't it be really good at lighting fires in dragons, too? Oh, no. That would be far too dangerous, Norman. Hmm. Only if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, look! Green paint! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Jupiter! They're starting the smoke room training now. Now then, I'm off to rescue Dolly. You're supposed to be cleaning Jupiter, not your foot. I know, sir, but I finished cleaning Jupiter. <laughs> Can I join in the smoke room training now, sir? Hmm. Wait a minute. There's some soot on Jupiter's bumper and her headlights. There will be no smoke room training for you, Credlington, until Jupiter is clean, pristine, and gleaming. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry, Jupiter. I'll get you some clean water. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Penny, you and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger that, that Sam. Sam. Shut off the electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. 
now we're off, Sam. I did it! I got out of my animal rescue uniform! I'm ready to fight the fire! I'm sorry, Elvis, it's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait! It's not too late! What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high! Oh no! That might be on fire too! Ah! I'm on my way! Sorry, I got everyone to cram too many pizzas in the ovens. I think I got a bit bossy. A bit? <laughs> I know you were trying to help your granddad, James, but you should have waited for your mom or dad to do it for you. I'm sorry, Sam. We should have kept more of an eye on them. And now granddad doesn't have any pizzas for his railway gala. Hmm. I think I might know where I can get hold of some food. I hope Fireman Sam gets here soon with some food. Me too. I'm really hungry. Oh. Here's Sam now. I wonder what he's brought. Oh. What? Well, I never... It can't oh. be. <gasps> Bella lasagna. Bella lasagna? It's uh, so good to see you all. And when Fireman Sam said that you had an emergency, I fired up my pizza oven. And she made as many pizzas as she could. Hooray! <laughs> and I hear that you're becoming quite a little chef, James. I can uh, give you cooking lessons anytime you'd like. That's great! Maybe we could start our own pizza restaurant. Huh? No way, Chef! No, 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 Chef! <laughs> okay, I've set up the new desk. Are you sure it's the one you want? It, it's very... Oh! Mike Flood here! Oh, hello, Charlie! A licky sump pump! Say no more, Charlie boy. I'm on my way. <laughs> Morning. What's going on here? Fire Captain Steele has gone to Newtown. He's left me in charge of sorting out his new desk. Uh, Penny, have you actually seen Fire Captain Steele's new desk? No. Why? Oh. <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> it's really not. I can't get a hold of Mike, so I called the desk company, only to find out that I didn't order the Super Multiplex desk. No, I ordered the Super Multiplex bed. And now they can't deliver the correct desk for another week. Oh, and the old desk can't be used, as it's now a heap of scrap. Don't worry, Penny. I have a plan. <laughs> if we take off the bunk bed and slide, we'll be left with just the desk. Oh, thanks, Sam. Elvis? Hmm? <laughs> You're stuck, aren't you, Elvis? I am. Hmm. Yeah. There. All balanced. Thanks, Elvis. We'll store the pieces here until we can return them. Sorry. One more piece. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. Yeah. 
dogs! Dog. Trevor ate my sausage rolls! <laughs> Stay calm! We'll find him! I'm launching Saturn now! I'm in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. <laughs> Get ready, Penny. <laughs> Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, ooh, and very licky. And then, at the end of the film, he says, A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Wow. <laughs> Morning, partner. Uh, hello, Elvis. Now, today, we're going to practice rescuing a horse. Good morning, firefighters. Good morning, partner. Partner? Is that the correct form of address to a senior firefighter, Cridlington? No. And get down off that thing at once. Sorry, partner. I mean, Fire Captain Steele. And that isn't regulation uniform. Children, the wheels on the bus go. Oh, no. <sighs> Mrs. Jen, the wheels on the bus have stopped going round and round. <sighs> At this rate, we won't have time for the crenellations. Yes. I mean, oh, no. The crenel what? These up and down bits. Oh, never mind that. Can't you fix that any faster? You know what they say, Mrs. Chen. That haste makes waste. Ha! Huh. Looks like we're not going to the boring old ruins after all. All right. I'll just check the accelerator. Oh, I'll do it if it'll speed us up. Uh, I'm not sure that... Uh, Which one is it? Uh, this one here? Yes, uh, but just a gentle tap. Norman Price, get back in your seat. <laughs> I said gentle. Take your foot off! Uh, the pedal won't come back up! Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. I haven't reconnected the brakes! Ah. Ah. And then you tie your guide rope on like this to keep the horse steady. And if you're a cowboy, you have to herd cattle! Excellent loop, Firefighter Morris. Nice turn, Firefighter McKinley. Ooh, and, and you have to say things like, round them up, partner. <laughs> and, and, yee-haw! we live in Party Penny, not the Wild West. You are never going to have to lasso anything here. Stop! Uh, there is no reason to become alarmed, children. Uh, by the way, does anyone know how to drive a bus? Ah! I can't keep up. Time to call the fireman. James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. Sorry, Ryan.
it's an oil fire, so we'll need the sticky foam. Roger that, Sam. Ten, 100 percent. Penny, shut off the electricity at the box. Hey, James? He's fine. It's a good idea not to keep oily rags lying around. They can catch fire easily. I'm really sorry, Sam. I'll be more careful in the future. And Norman Price? Next time you make a movie, have a grown-up supervise all the stunts. Yes, Fireman Sam. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry I put you in so much danger, James. Norman, we can't film anymore. All these rescues have almost filled up my memory card. Oh, really? Norman Price is Jake Pond, international firefighting super spy. Yay! <laughs> Dangerous stuff is my middle name. No, it's not Norman. It's Stanley. Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you are a professional actor after all, Sam. Oh, thanks, Penny. That stunt double <laughs> is fabulous. Who is he? <laughs> the name's Sam. Fireman Sam. Hey, Hannah. I just found these fantastic binoculars. Do you want to come to the beach and look at faraway things? We could, Norman. But my mom's got a fox. <gasps> a fox? Oh, I know everything about foxes. I'm like, I'm like the fox whisperer. Where is it? Follow me. There he is. Hello, Foxy. Did you know that some foxes are just like dogs? Mom says they're wild animals. Not this one. Look at him. Well... He does look like a dog. I wonder what he eats. He'll eat bones just like dogs do. I'll find one. You're gonna get some dinner. <gasps> Please don't tell me that just happened. Oh. oh, it happened. I found a bone. Where's the fox? I opened the cage and it escaped. That was a silly thing to do. You said it was like a dog. Well, you should listen to me. Oh, no. If we don't get that fox back in his cage before Mom comes home, we'll be in big Mom trouble. Here, Foxy, Foxy, Foxy. Foxy! Oh. What if we do find him, Norman? How will we get him back? Easy. I'll scare him back with this pot and spoon, like this. <laughs> Norman, stop. You'll scare him even further away. No, I won't. Ooh, look, there he is. Uh, uh. <gasps> That's him. Oh, no, he's taken off again. Where do you think he's going? I bet he's going home. Home? The cliffs, where Mom found him. But the cliffs are miles away. It'll take us ages to get there. <laughs> no, it won't. Hello, Hannah. Hello, Norman. Um. We're looking for an injured fox, Trevor, and we really need a lift to the cliffs. The cliffs? Oh, I don't know, Hannah. That's not really on my route. Oh, please, Trevor. You'd be such a hero, just like Fireman Sam. Oh, uh, <laughs> a hero, eh? Hmm, yes. <laughs> How did you do that? That was amazing. Just keep an eye out for the fox. We've looked everywhere for that fox, Hannah. I really should be getting back. No! Please, Trevor. If we don't find him, Mom will be really mad. And if you go, we'll never get back. You'd be a real hero if you helped us, Trevor. 
Uh, you got something in your eye, Norman? Uh, no. I, uh... Look! Up there! I see something red, and it's moving! It's the fox! Oh, I'll get him! Uh, no, Norman. That's a very tall tree. Let me do it. I am Chief Pioneer, remember? <sighs> uh, oh, I just wish that I hadn't had that... Oh, pot pie for lunch. Uh, Keep going, Trevor. Now a little to the left. That's it. You've got it. It's not a fox. It's not? It's a kite. There is a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. There's a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the hose and I'll get the crowbar. Firefighter Sam, air 100. Ready, Elvis? Ready, Sam. Firefighter Quislington, air 100. Keep back, everyone. One at a time. Take my hand and stay low. <laughs> That's it, Mandy. Come to me. Where are Sarah and James? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All the children are out, sir. But keep everyone back until we have this fire under control. Everyone back! much for some quiet time. Sorry, Uncle, Uncle Sam. Sam. We were so busy trying to be better than each other that we put everyone in danger. Just remember that candles must be kept at a safe distance away from other things. And always keep an eye on them. They can start a fire really easily. But I've got something to cheer you up. Candy apple! Yay! <laughs> what? And you! And who? Yes, you can have one, sir. You've waited long enough. <laughs> oh, yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> okay, Sam, watch this. Yep. <laughs> oh, Cradlington! Elvis, I I'm not sure juggling vegetables tonight is a very good idea. You're right, Sam. Good. I'm glad you're thinking. Because here's what I'm going to do instead. Tonight, Firefighter Gridlington is going to be juggling on stage with flaming torches. So it's time for Operation Certain Inferno. Fireman Sam, you'll be leading the line here. Yes, sir. Firefighter Phillips, I want you up here on Jupiter. And Firefighter McKinley, you'll be covering from here. Are we ready? Fireman Sam, standing by, sir. Firefighter Phillips, standing by. Firefighter McKinley, standing by. Firefighter War, standing by. Wallaby One, standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Uh, uh hello, Ponty Pandy. Well 
done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> yes. Right. All clear, everyone. Back to the station. Bye. Well, I just hope Mike does as well as me. Hello, Putty Pandy. I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band. The Scrum Master 2000! Ta-da! That's the place I know where people say hello! Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it up all the way, Joe! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that! Dad, you need to stop! Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Oh. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire! Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury. <laughs> Ellie, Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Power's off, Sam! I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it through his solo. Everyone, move back. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 yards back for maximum safety. All out, Sam. Carefully, Norman, and you'll be a master chef in a no time. I don't want to be a master chef. I want to watch some soccer. First, we make a nice and neat circle of bellissimo dough, like this. Next, a nice a big doll of a tasty tomato sauce. Ah! Oh! Yeah! And then, a beautiful big handful of mouth-watering mozzarella. Finished. And now I'm free to watch the match. Ow! Uh, I hate making pizza. Goal? Forget about the football, Norman. Just be careful with the... <laughs> wow! Oh! Food. Oh! oh. 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 Mamma mia! What have you done? Uh, oh. I'm so sorry. I'll clean up this mess. You take the pepperoni pizza out of the oven and take it to Ben at the key. Okay, Bella. Uh, it's not fair. I'm missing the match and all because of this silly pizza. Oh, this is how you attack. And this is how you defend. Well, there's nothing for us to do here. We might as well all go home. And this is how you scissor kick. <laughs> Ooh, my back. Mm. Pizza smells a bit smoky. A bit too smoky. <gasps> oh, no! Help! Oh, fire! <gasps> There is a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. We'll fight the fire from the bottom of the hill. Elvis and Ellie, evacuate everyone from the stand. And one, two, 
Glad everyone's safe. Whenever there's a fire on a slope, it's always important to stay below the flames because fire and smoke travel uphill very quickly. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam, and I'm sorry, Bella. I just wanted to watch some soccer, but I should have been concentrating on the pizzas. Oh, I understand, Norman. After all, I love my football as much as you. Really? Norman Price is stuck on a horse, which is stuck in some thick, sticky mud. Norman Price is stuck on a horse, which is stuck in some thick, sticky mud. Roger that, sir. Tell Ellie to bring Phoenix and meet us there. It's an animal rescue, so we'll need you to come along too, Lizzie. Okay. And I'll need someone else. Arnold. Huh? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Ellie, remember to turn your siren off so you don't scare the horse. Roger that, Sam. like it is on the TV. Close as you can, Ellie. I'll get Norman to safety, and then we'll need to get the horse in the harness. Arnold, can you keep it calm? Me? You can do it, Arnold. <laughs> now... Don't you worry about anything. Yeah. Don't worry, Norman. I've got you. Phoenix will get you out. Well, when I say Phoenix, technically speaking, it's a purpose-built 4x4 off-road vehicle. giving me another chance, Sam. You did really well, Arnold. You could come and work for me anytime. <clears throat> Is there anything you want to say, Norman? Yes. If it wasn't for that silly horse, I would have won. I mean, I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. I just wanted to beat James. But you didn't, though, Norman, eh? The badge goes to whoever used their map correctly. Well done, James. You are totally awesome. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Sarah. I don't believe it. Why is it always James? Ow, my name's James. I've got a map. Uh, Arnold, we might need you to calm something else down. <laughs> I can navigate. I can estimate our position using this map. <laughs> Fire Department Chief Boyce! I... I what? what? Lounging about on a deck chair? Very undignified behavior for a firefighter. Arnold, do you have Miss Hosewater, the firefighter's daughter? And what's going on here? Just having a game of firefighters' happy families, sir. Oh, uh, really? Well, where's Fire Captain Steele? He's in his office, sir. <gasps> Desist from licking that ice cream, Fire Captain Steel. But it's a very hot day, sir. Hot or not, firefighters should not be sprawled on deck chairs, playing silly games, or eating ice cream. They should be training and keeping fit. What they need is this. <laughs> <laughs> 
my new firefighter fitness training program. I call it Shape Up and Shine. Oh, very well. I'll get them started. Oh, no, 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 no. I shall be in charge of the training, and you will be joining in with the exercises. Me? Oh, but... No buts, Norris. Get your team together. We'll start immediately. Now let's try 20 jumping jacks. What's up, out of breath, old chap? With all due respect, sir, we really should warm up before we start exercising. Less talking and more action. My wrist. Oh. Now swing those buckets round from side to side. Swing. Uh, uh, ow. Ow. Oh, my neck. My foot. Ow. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'm calling Nurse Flood. She needs to examine Ellie's foot and see if she's broken anything. Uh, maybe we should stop now. Shame. I was just getting into my stride. There's a fire on Potty Pandy Mountain! The forest trails are too small for Jupiter. We'll need to take Venus. Dampened it down, Penny, so we could do with some backup. Hang on, Sam. I'm on my way. That'll do fine. I'm sorry, Sam. We got a bit carried away making the giant bear and... Just remember to keep your wicker animals a safe distance from your campfire and your campfire a safe distance from your tents. You two should have known better. Yes, yes Sam. Sam. Congratulations, everyone. You all get your bushcraft badges. <laughs> Hooray! And James gets a special fire marshal badge for spotting the blaze. Yay! Uh, uh, shoot! Well, at least we managed to break the record for the world's tallest wicker bear. Although it is lying down. And on fire. We could always make another one. After all, we, we are, are the, the wild men of Punty Pandy. I was afraid they were going to say that. Me too, Trevor. <laughs> Me too. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside, make way for fire.